hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session it's really an exciting session for me because one of the challenges that I've had in training futures traders over the years is the account size that they've really required to start trading the futures market so I've needed realistically three and a half to five thousand or even more to safely trade the futures markets however last week the CME released four new micro e-mini futures uh, contracts and it's really exciting because in the first week as you're about to see the volumes far exceeded what they expected to uh, see happen and it's just been a, a huge take up globally of these contracts what does it mean to you well as a trader now you can get started as a futures trader with as little as with one broker I saw $355 uh, typically you probably need around six to seven hundred dollars but where previously you may have needed to say trade start trading uh, micro Forex contracts or mini Forex contracts you can now participate and trade the futures markets which is really in my opinion the fairest market in the world with most brokers you don't have any market makers any dealing desk you're dealing directly with the exchange so the purpose of this video is to give you a fairly good overview now this video is for both my members of the day traders fast fast track program I've got over 5,000 members now uh, and also the general trading public and those perhaps considering my program now uh, what I'll do today in today's session I'm going to give you uh, some specifications of it we'll look at some charts and just give you a good overview and for my members we're going to do some live trading on my live account over the next coming days now there are some drawbacks with it which I'm going to explain so I'm going to give you a really balanced overview uh, of the contracts however if trading has been tough for you up to now or if you've perhaps blown your account a number of times or if you're a brand new trader this is fantastic for you because it's a great way of having very very little risk at the same time trading a real account traders we all know there's a massive difference between trading using a simulator and trading re using real money so your process would be for an example if you were one of my members you would master the setups of course on the simulator then you would move to these new micro accounts then once you've got everything down pat on micro you think can then go to a standard account you see starting with only as little as 400 to 600 dollars compared to four to five thousand dollars if you have a loss it might be say two dollars fifty five dollars massive difference it's you know it's a ten percent difference as you're about to see so well, let's get underway and I'll explain this I'm jumping ahead you can probably see I'm excited traders and as always my videos are raw real and unedited so if I fluff up on anything you'll have to uh, just forgive me so this is uh, you can actually visit the CME website and you can register receive their email newsletters etc so launching May 2019 they've actually launched so um, I'll be really talking about some of the factual things that have happened in the last week so as I do get underway I do need to put up the risk disclaimer there is a risk in trading you don't trade with the rent money if you're a new member of mine or if you're watching my videos for the first time please pause the video and read the risk uh, disclaimer there is a risk in trading you don't trade with went with the rent money and you make sure you master the uh, trades in sim then on the micros before going to a large contract very very quickly if you remember this is okay I'm just going to do a 30 second advertisement please uh, if you're new to my videos uh, please go to my website or click on the link below to get my free training manual also my ebook and I'm sorry if you can hear the birds in the background let me close my office door here uh, my free ebook on uh, uh, the truth about day trading even better still visit my website for $197 you can join my program you get over 15 of the world's best trading strategy Chief is over 300 hours now of video online training instruction there's literally hundreds of handouts in the members area it is massive as one of my members said 
my uh, Google Drive is like a gold mine all for $197 there's nothing like it globally anyway end of advertisement oh and I do have to say subscribe to my channel if you're new if you've um, uh, just looking at my channel first of all uh, subscribe to it to be kept up to date with my latest videos okay I'm gonna slow down I wanted to get through the ad quickly so I didn't lose <laughs> any of you okay so let's talk about these new e-mini contracts and what they mean to you so there are four markets I've bought these out on the e-mini S&P which as we know massive volume on a daily basis typically around one and a half million contracts we've then got the e-mini Nasdaq we've got the e-mini Russell and we've got the Dow so with these the ES here is normally $50 a point and there's four uh, sorry if you're $50 a point there's four ticks to a point 1250 you got the Nasdaq which is $20 a point there's four ticks five dollars each there's the Russell okay which is five dollars and we then have the uh, the YM which is uh, five dollars as well sorry you got to keep thinking I don't actively trade the Russell or the YM because of uh, the volume however we've got a lot of members that do now with the new tick values we then got here um, it's five dollars a point on the ES on the Russell it's five dollars then we've got the Nasdaq is two dollars and on the Russell sorry on the YM it's 50 let me get these right okay so if we look at the tick value it's 10% of the value so if we look at the ES where normally it's uh, it's fifty dollars now with the minis it's five dollars it's a dollar twenty-five a tick so what that means to you traders if say you have a six tick risk normally that would be seventy five dollars where now with the micros trading the exact same setup on this new micro account it's only seven dollars fifty so if you have a loss it's only seven dollars fifty now there's some commissions on that as well brings it up slightly and you'll see some disadvantages long term on your commissions I mean it's not all uh, gravy okay there are a couple of drawbacks with these uh, but overall in cutting your teeth in mastering the art of day trading this is exciting stuff and we're going to be looking at the charts on these as well so we then got the Russell so I have to say on volume my favorites are this after one week you've got uh, the S&P uh, then you've got the Nasdaq then we've got the uh, YM then we've got the Russell and we'll look at the volume charts in a moment so where this is fantastic for really three types of traders the trade of its brand new never traded before you would still start out by using the simulator okay then you go to the micros then you go to a full contract uh, then you've got the trade of it's perhaps been really struggling okay struggling getting the trading right stop trading the big contracts let's get you back to the basics trading the micro build your confidence and build from there let's remember traders that confidence is like a muscle the more often you exercise it just like discipline the more if often you exercise that the stronger it becomes likewise with all of the key fundamentals of trading we've got to remember that we've got to carry them out on a regular basis so start out on the micros and build and the third type of person is a trader that perhaps has blown your account two or three times we need to and believe it or not I get a lot of clients that uh, join me a lot of traders that join me that are still losing money you totally stop live trading your account you go back to the sim we then get you on the micros now if we take a standard contract okay the maximum risk you ever want to have as a day trader is two percent okay so if you're say trading the Nasdaq and normally you've got a 20 tick risk which is $100 okay you need a five thousand dollar account if you say trading the ES with a six tick risk which is seventy five dollars you'd need a minimum account size of three thousand seven hundred and fifty okay to stay within that two percent risk now with a micro with 20 ticks it's only ten dollars at 50 cents a tick we look at uh, the same uh, six ticks 
same here it's only 750 you only need $350 okay at $1.25 now yes I know that your returns are going to be nowhere near as much as say at 1250 it's it's only 125 but this is about building your skill set your discipline your your patience and your overall skills once you master your trading on the micros you can then go to a large account and as many of you know even if you came to me and said look I've got 50,000 to start trading with right now I would say go and invest 45,000 you haven't earned the right to say be trading 10 lots you've got to earn your stripes traders if you start out and say okay I'm gonna double my account that is start with in sim go to the micros then go to a standard lot go from 5,000 to 10,000 in your account you start trading three contracts get to 15 sorry you start trading two. get to 15 you start trading three you build your trading career that way I promise you you'll be a long-term trader there are no shortcuts as far as risk management goes and learning the principles of day and swing trading now if we look at this table here and this was kindly supplied by um, one of my full-time traders Denzel we can see here the tick value and what you normally require and this is with TradeStation okay there's a lot of excellent uh, US based uh, brokers and look the big thing with brokers by the way is the commissions you pay of course are they regulated if you look at the UK brokers uh, USA the Australian brokers they're the most regulated in the world but the bottom line is your initial margins you require here so the ES is up around 7,000 gold GC around uh, nearly four Nasdaq 8 so you can see the margins now then you have the day trading margins which I won't get into today but let's remember traders with day trading margin you still have to remember your two percent rule but let's now have a look at this here with the micro contracts we can see these are the trade station figures here the margin 693 391 836 691 so we can see the total margin for these micros is basically 10 percent so you can now start trading with a lot less money in your account now I will say this some brokers still require that you open your account with two to five thousand dollars so you just need to check with that okay I'm I'm totally broker neutral okay but so some of the great brokers that I know of are amps in the US you've got ninja trader of course you you then you've got um, of course trade station so you want to check with your individual broker what is that if you haven't opened an account with them so far what the minimum amount is if you go to amps look at amps here the maintenance margin and basically 600 760 355 there for the Russell so just just very very low account requirements are required initially now we have to remember and this is the drawback with the micros is the commissions from a percentage basis they are at least 30 to 50 percent more overall so on a proportionate basis if you were to say trade one standard lot okay so if you were to trade one standard lot um, uh, with with say trade station you're going to on say the ES you're going to pay around round turn that is in and out a total of four dollars eighty thereabouts now it works out to be that with the minis approximately this is approximately you would need to be trading 10 minis to be doing the same so it's going to work out you're going to pay around eight dollars compared to the four dollars eighty so it's a fair bit more traders that you're going to be paying if you got up to trading 20 contracts you're going to be paying upwards of sixteen dollars okay so you're going to pay uh, to, to be effectively trading two standard lots where you'd be nine dollars what's that nine dollars forty is that correct somewhere around that nine dollars twenty whatever it works out to be so effectively it becomes much more cost effective longer term of course to be charged to be trading sorry the larger contracts however in your early days in trading one contract two 
three and starting to master in the art of day trading that is by you start by trading one contract you get it down pat you start trading two, taking one contract off at a fixed profit and trailing your second so as you master the art and as you learn the techniques you scalp one contract then you trail your second then you might go to four contracts okay on the micros you where you sculpt three oh, sorry two and you let two trial there's a whole lot of different techniques so that the major benefit here is it's allowing you to master the art of trading with a lot less risk and that's really important from a psychological point of view now let's talk volumes for a moment when it first launched now I do have to say um, and this is May 2000 I know for my US friends where most of my members are from of course you have it round the other way uh, we, we did have a very high uh, volume of trades last week particularly with earnings reports we then of course had the Apple report come out we've also got the the China crisis so what I want to call it trust but the, the China trade talks at the moment which is affecting the market so we have seen above average volumes but putting that aside we're normally last Monday we'd normally see around 1.4 1.5 contracts we saw just under 2 mil but this is where it's interesting down here on the ES mini micro account my apologies micro it did 156 thousand contracts now from my research uh, I believe that the CME was hoping to be able to do a hundred thousand contracts within the next month or two and they did a hundred and fifty six thousand contracts on day one this is spectacular then on the NQ they did 90,000 for the day we had the Russell 33,000 and the Dow 24,000 now the next day we saw 254,000 contracts 174 60,000 on the Dow there was uh, 16,000 next day, I'm just going to show you five days 245,000 again now in my opinion and up here you can see the, the ES did 2.7 million where normally it's one and a half so if you break that down it's still the equivalent of probably a good 140 150,000 contracts a day you see to make any market tradable traders what we require we need of course a market that has a good trading range all right we want to see those waves where surfers remember we want to see momentum and we also need a good trading volume and when I go to the charts in a moment you'll see and I'm recording this during the globe session that it's very spotty at the moment on a couple however on the ES is still some good trading opportunities and just the last day here we saw on Friday a massive 2.7 million contracts uh, traded and down here 395,000 now in proportion we've seen the volumes of the micros is increasing almost every day proportionally so we've seen a big increase so if we then go and have a look how do they compare on a tick by tick or pattern basis this is on the left we've got a Renko chart this is on the Nasdaq I've got a 1.5 point Renko and over here on the right I've got a 1.5 Renko uh, on the micro now with Renko of course unlike say tick or volume the candles are formed by price range and so we can see here it's virtually modeling virtually exactly the micros are basically modeling the uh, the standard contract exactly we go to the next one what have I got here I've got here the uh, ES this is a uh, two tick Renko and we've got a two tick Renko on the micro same thing look at the patterns okay basically the same uh, maybe within a tick or two they're out but otherwise they're virtually modeling the standard contract exactly now where you will see differences and where you need to allow for this and members yes I'll cover this in my members videos on this we can see a 550 most of you know that uh, I love trading the 550 uh, tick chart uh, during the New York session and the equivalent I would be looking at is around probably a 144 on if you're going to trade tick 
chart so you can see there is a difference on the tick but of course that's because it comes down to volume of trades flowing through so there is a difference there now if just before we go to the charts now with the micros uh, and this is for members I as you know I love our anchor charts and you love the anchor charts so you could use and you can see because the price structure and the waves are basically the same you can still use your standard e-mini contract data with your anchor charts okay so there's no need to change your anchor charts so use your micro for your entries but still use your standard contracts on your anchor so if you're trading say uh, a standard contract and a micro okay you can continue those uh, standard anchor charts hopefully that makes sense and of course I'll talk a lot more about that uh, in the live training videos now let's go to the charts now what we're looking at here traders this is uh, we're 2 15 p.m. on Monday afternoon so this is uh, uh, what time are we there we get heading towards midnight US time and we can see here that I've got on the right so I've got a two tick Renko uh, on the micro and this is our standard lot so basically they're modeling exactly okay and this is a live account I won't pull it up because you can see my account details but this is actually the live account that we're looking at so it's modeling exactly now let's have a look and start with the Russell so this is the thing that we do need to be concerned about is our volume so we can see on the far right our, our ask and our bid sizes and we can see here that we've got some gap in there so the market will jump so we can see here on the Russell that uh, it's fairly thinly traded and you will get a fair amount of slippage as you trade the Russell during the globex session one advantage traders I want all traders globally to remember that let's just talk US time for a moment the markets close for an hour at 5 p.m. they reopen at 6 p.m. Eastern and it's a great time for traders that perhaps are working full-time but want to go um, uh, want to become full-time traders to get home and cut their teeth with their trading and what you've got now if we now go and look at the ES with the ES mini the micro the MES it's actually called we can see here there's still some excellent volume flowing through look at this here okay so you can see there is 386 contracts there you've got 331 okay you so you've got some really good volume available okay now by the way where I'll buy and sell 10 lots at a time uh, what I will say as a 10 lot trader on the micros I would be trading a standard lot okay so I've just um, put in the micro account details here so I wouldn't recommend trading a 10 lot uh, for unless you're going to hold a long-term position and, and perhaps I should uh, mention that if you're swing trading uh, then the micros can be a, a lot more attractive than okay if you've got a longer term but if you're a day trader and particularly if you're trading 10 lots you definitely want to jump up to be trading a standard lot but look at that there 331 77 so as a one to five lot trader in mastering your trading fantastic market to start with we then go to the uh, NQ okay now on the NQ there uh, we've got here and actually the, the point increments are, uh, are out there so it doesn't quite show you but there you've got 133 uh, and the next point down there's 203 contracts is 77 so there's tons of volume for the one to five lot traders there but once again the same rules apply traders uh, I wouldn't recommend as a day trader trading 10 lots uh, I would be jumping up would recommend you jump once you get above five you want to really start thinking about going up to a standard lot now when we also look at this traders and you know if you've got the funds available you know and this is really where you look at this here now if we just jump across for a moment to CL now CL you really need for the after hours market some brokers require that you put up a full margin which means you need about 7,000 no sorry not 7,000 3,400 3,000 dollars thereabouts now if we look at the 
ES2 sorry the CL2 let me get this right to Renko we can see here there's been some great uh, trading opportunities uh, today there you had and for my members there you had a, a 2BD there you then had a, a 2B a 2B 2B and members don't forget if you're just trading the two Renko you know consider just trading your two B's and the reason being most two B's are going to give you at least your six to eight ticks which is sixty to eighty dollars per contract you trade okay so you can see there it's some really smooth 2b transactions here there's a t10 you had a 200b then you had your standard bet the farm there's your double top with um, some divergence here's your standard pivot bounce your pivot bounce again but that was your 34b okay then you had a really nice uh, 2d remember with your 2d's you're targeting the 89 2b again a great 34b so with the lower time frames members just remember consider just trading your 2b's okay remember 3 by 8 yes I can that is 3 by $80 trades net you over $200 a contract uh, per day but I'm jumping ahead with what I wanted to say there the difference is here you need to have three thousand odd dollars this is just a great spot to start these micro contracts so I'm going to be doing a number of other training videos and also do some for the general public by the way on these and um, you know you've got to watch this uh, the gap in okay where you where you're jumping uh, you're getting slippage of two to four six ticks in some cases it becomes expensive but the real key point here is with these micros if you're a struggling trader if you're a brand new trader what a great spot to start you don't have to start now with five thousand dollars you know if, what if it what if you only have a thousand you can start by trading the micro ES build your account over six months you've built your confidence built your trading skills then you can jump up to a large account and it's amazing when you've got a goal in mind of how much quicker you can save and build that up particularly when you see you're getting great success on the micros so traders hopefully this is giving you just a, a good quick overview but seriously these micros are a massive move forward for traders all around the world that may be initially uh, a little cash strapped or that are brand new to trading or struggling you know this is a game changer it really is so traders once again if you haven't joined my channel please do uh, and you'll be kept up to date with up and coming we're going to do a whole series of videos that is still 197 come and join my program go to my website see what my members have to say I've got dozens of members in my coaching program that um, uh, join me live two days a week you can find out more about that also on my website but 197 is all up is all you actually need if you just want uh, just my program all of my setups indicators etc so I will finish here traders thank you very much see you on the next video